beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you guys are new here my name is Gianna Leanne and I basically just bring you along throughout my life guys it's finally here I'm giving you guys my bookshelf tour oh this is honestly crazy because I never thought that I would have a bookshelf but here we are today. I vlogged putting this all together for you guys, so you guys can go watch that because it's a really fun video. But today I'm giving you guys a bookshelf tour. I tried to organize my books, but I don't know if I kind of like, like how it's organized, so I might play around with it in the future, but for right now, I just wanted to give you guys a tour how it is and go through like all the books that I own. It's gonna be a fun video, and I'm so excited to show you guys all the books that I've accumulated for almost a year. So basically I think we're gonna first start with the top shelf and then we're gonna like kind of like work our way down. I think that's like the best way to do this. I also have like no decorations on my bookshelf yet, but when I do my room transformation video, I will definitely be making this look a lot more fancier than it is. It's basically color coded by colors right now. So we have red to pink to white. And then I just have my yellow. I don't know why I put the yellow there, but whatever. And then we also have blacks to grays and then my purples. And then we have greens to blues. Shoot, I, for I forgot a book, hold on. I was reading it this morning, so I forgot to put it back. To carry on, we have greens to blues and then yellows and like browns, sort of. I also got this mug from one of you guys and I'm literally so grateful, so. Thank you for that. To start off with like the reds, we have Mary Jane. Literally absolutely love this book. Five star read right here. Couldn't recommend it anymore. One of Us is Lying as well. Regretting You. This was the first Coho book I ever read, funny enough. Magnolia Parks. The Thursday Murder Club. What I Lost, also one of my all time faves. Monday's Not Coming. This one's not popular, but highly recommend. Ah, don't fall. Love in the Time of Serial Killers. I did a reading vlog on this one. Troubles in Paradise. They all just fell over. We're just gonna leave them. <laughs> There's something about Mary. I'm so excited to start reading Christmas books. Finley Donovan is killing it. Nothing but the truth. I actually just finished this one. The Infinite Game. Sounds interesting. Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. I really wanna read this one. This is the first one. One of Us is Lying. This is the first one in the series. And then One of Us is Next. This one is the second one in the series. Love in Other Words, I still have not read this. I honestly don't know why I haven't, but I haven't gotten around to it. Addicted to You and The Silent Patient. I loved this one. The ending, I didn't see it coming, guys. Then for my two yellow books, I just have Bunny, which I read this one, and then I'm Glad My Mom Died. This is my all-time favorite book, guys. I love it so much. Moving on to blacks, grays, and purples. We have The House Across the Lake, The X-Hex, All Eyes on Us. I have had this for years, and I honestly don't think I'm ever gonna read it, but I wanted to put it on my shelf anyways. <laughs> on the Come Up, also had this for years just sitting in my basement, and one day I just decided to pick it up, and I read it in like two days. And it's a pretty thick book. So it was actually really good. It was a good read. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. You guys know how much I love this book. The Midnight Library, Frankenstein. Look at this cover. It's literally stunning. Hashtag murder trending. This one's a fave. Verity, my all time favorite Colleen Hoover book. Chef's kiss. Six of Crows. I still have not gotten the second one and I honestly don't think I'm really going to. It was good, but not good enough for me to read the second one. American Psycho. Really? I DNF'd this book. No, I'm not even gonna lie, I DNF'd it. The Night Circus, still have not read this one. The Keeper, Milk and Honey, the only poetry book that I've read so far, but I really, really wanna buy some more because I absolutely adored this one. Then She Was Gone, I got this thrifting. Pretty good condition too. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I still have to buy the rest of the books in this series, but I definitely will be soon, hopefully. Another Alice Feeney book, The Hunting Party. My Heart and Other Black Holes. This is a very anticipated book for me. Hopefully I will get around to it. And then for my purple stack, we have My Dark Vanessa. This was a pretty good read for me. We have We'll Always Have Summer. This is the third book, the last book in the Summer I Turn Pretty trilogy series. And 
every summer after. This is a five star read for me and a stunning, stunning cover as well. Now moving on to like my bottom shelf. This is kind of the shelf that I don't really know how I feel about because of the colors and stuff like that, but it still kind of works. So I'm gonna go through those. So first we have The Searcher. I got this in a blind date with a book, so that was fun. It's Not Summer Without You, which is the second book in the Summer I Turn Pretty trilogy series. It's kind of a funny story. I heard that there's a movie on this book that I haven't watched, so I'll be having to watch that soon, but this was a really, really good read. Another Taylor Jenkins read book, Malibu Rising. I'm obsessed with Taylor Jenkins reads writing. Oh, her books are so good, and I really want to finish her backlist eventually, but this was really, really good. The Honeys, I recently picked this one up, and I can't wait to dive into it. My current read right now, Winter Girls. I'm very excited to give you guys my thoughts on it. Lovely Bones, another older book and another movie. The American Roommate Experiment. I'm not even gonna lie, I bought this because of the cover. Yeah, I bought it because of the cover. I haven't even read The Spanish Love Deception, but it's, it's fine. Better than the movies. Why do I keep looking at the viewfinder? Okay, I don't know how to really pronounce this one. Eleanor Oliphant. Eleanor Oliphant, maybe? Birthday Girl, this is like not a known book at all. It's actually the second one in the series. I have to buy the first one, but this one. Excuse me while I ugly cry. I absolutely adored this book and ate it up. It's probably like the first rom-com that I've ever really read when I started getting into those. Okay, this book is very, very close to my heart because it's the first book that I read when I got into like my reading journey again. It's Paperweight. I could not recommend this book enough. It does deal with a lot of sensitive topics and you definitely have to check trigger warnings, but I still could not recommend it enough. And Think and Grow Rich, I've had this for years. Um, I keep telling myself to read it, but I never actually end up getting around to it. So I'm like, I don't even know how far I am into it. Apparently I started tabbing it though. I hear it's a really good book though. And then in this stack we have Panada. I won this in a Goodreads giveaway. Awaken the Giant Within. I'm very excited to read this even though it's a really, really, really big book. One Good Dog. I really hope this isn't as sad as it sounds, but should be a good one. Finally, the first book in the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy series. They're all over the place, but it's whatever. And finally, What Happens in Paradise. This is a part of the trilogy with Troubles and Paradise. This is the f I don't know what order they go into, but this is one of the books in the series as well. Troubles in Paradise and What Happens in Paradise. And then there's also Winter in Paradise, which is the first one, and I don't have that one because I got this one and that one thrifting, so I haven't found Winter in Paradise. I'll probably just end up buying it new, but yeah. Oh shoot, my battery is flashing. Hold on, let me change it. Okay guys, sorry, I'm back um, the next day. I'm so bad at that. Um, that's basically my bookshelf tour. It definitely is a small collection, but this is just the start because I really want to buy a lot more new books in the new year, especially. For less than a year, I think I've accumulated a decent amount of books. This is just an overview of all of my books, but, but I did receive a package in the mail. I was kind of confused on what it was at first so i was i did open it because i didn't know what it was i saw a package for me and i was like i didn't order anything but it is a book it is sweet dandelion that's what it looks like hopefully it focuses i'm still new with this camera guys i have no idea what i'm doing so <laughs> bear with me um but it's sweet dandelion by Macalia smeltzer oh, i really need to get better at pronouncing authors names but this is a big book, guys. This book is 600 pages, which is literally insane. It's giving me a little life vibes. But this was sent to me by one of you guys, and I am so, so grateful for this. I'll actually put it up on the screen. I don't even have words. I am so grateful for every single one of you guys, and I feel so grateful to be gifted a book, especially if it's one of your guys' recommendations, because obviously I'm gonna have to read it. I have no idea what it's about, though. I just, and I've also never heard of it. It says, 
Dandelion Meadows is cursed. Horrible name, horrible luck. At 18, she should be headed off to college, all smiles and naivety. Instead, a victim of a school shooting, she's starting her senior year in a new city and living with her brother. Nightmares of that terrible day haunt her, affecting her daily life and the relationships around her, forced to meet with the school counselor. Danny finds him chipping away at the wall she's built around herself and even her heart. Lachlan Taylor doesn't know what to make at first of the broken student he's tasked with helping. She survived a trauma he's not sure he can save her from, but he knows he has to try. The more time they spend together, the more they learn about what it really means to live. Some things are forbidden, some things are necessary for survival. Their love is both. I think that it sounds really, really good. I'm surprised I haven't heard of this. I'll have to look it up on Goodreads, but I love this cover. In the back, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. My Amazon wishlist is also always in the description of every single video that I post. So if you guys like the books that I talk about in my videos, then most likely I do update that list pretty regularly so you guys can go buy the books that I talk about. Or I also have my books that I want to get on my wish list. So yeah, those are also in there as well. So grateful. Thank you so much. Overall, this is my finished bookshelf tour as of right now. I probably am honestly going to switch up how I've organized my book. So if you guys want a reorganizing my book video, let me know. Also, let me know down below in the comments how I should organize my books. A lot of my friends and like other people have told me to do it by genres or like my favorites and like my TBR and stuff like that. I don't know how to do it. So if you guys can let me know down in the comments what your guys' opinions are, maybe how your book shelf sorted that would be so helpful for me because I don't know how I feel about the color coding I like the top shelf but the rest are just kind of eh to me I'm rambling way too much but let me know down below in the comments and yeah I think that oh we should add the new book to our shelf I don't even know what colors these would be would these be like gray or like purple how would it look oh I like that I kind of actually do like that okay we're gonna add it to purple it probably should go into gray but we're adding it to purple for now plus purple is my favorite color so Perfect! Another book added to my collection. Love it. Anyways, that is the end of my bookshelf tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry it's kind of boring, but a lot of you guys wanted a bookshelf tour, so had to give you guys what you wanted. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff you guys know how to do. And yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> and with that, I hope you guys are having an amazing, wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!